y'all welcome back to my channel I am back with my May favorites today first off I want to say that I'm home by myself so I did not kick the dogs out they are in here so if you hear sniffing or fighting or it's them I apologize but anyway so let's get right into this so this isn't a crazy long video and I'm not rambling like I usually am so let's start with let's see we have one skincare product so we'll start with that this is the Trader Joe's Spa Natural Facial Cleansing Pads. That was a tongue twister, I don't know why. Um, with tea tree oil. So it's 50 pads. They're like, you know, like those Noxzema pads from the 90s, basically the same thing. So it's a little moistened pads that, ooh, it smells strong. So if you've never smelled tea tree oil before, you might be in for a shock. But if you know what it smells like, then you know what you're getting into. So the directions say to use either one or two pads. I just use one, I think that's more than enough and smooth it over your face, um, paying close attention to oily areas and avoiding eyes, which is definitely a must. Like You cannot get this anywhere near your eyes or it will burn like crazy. You cannot get tea tree oil in your eyes. So you have to be very careful. But tea tree oil is a natural antiseptic. So if you find that you have breakouts after working out, stuff like that, this would be really good to use. Um, I It says that you're supposed to rinse it afterwards. I don't rinse it afterwards. I have like normal to dry sensitive skin, so if it's going to really freak out anybody's skin, it would probably be mine. And I don't rinse afterwards and it's not that big of a deal. Um, but you definitely do want to put a moisturizer on after this, because tea tree oil is also, because it is antiseptic, it can be kind of drying. So definitely, definitely follow it up with a moisturizer. Oh, and I forgot to mention, these little tea tree pads from Trader Joe's, you get 50 of them for like three bucks, four bucks maybe. So cheap. Okay. Next up, we'll do hair. So I have been wearing my hair more natural this month because I've been trying to give it a break. I haven't gotten my hair cut in a while. I'm trying to grow it out. That's why it's kind of like this awkward length. And I'm trying to grow it out without getting too many split ends. I'm trying to not use heat on it, you know, not do too, th too many things that are going to damage it. So I've been wearing hair naturally, just let it air dry. But I can't just let it air dry or it just kind of looks flat, limp, and boring. Just like, I don't know, it's, I need to put something in it. So I've been using this Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Hair Cream infused with sea kelp extract. So it looks like this. You get it at the drugstore. I think it was like seven bucks. Like it's not expensive. And a little goes a long way. So you want to squirt out probably like, for hair, if you have hair that's like my length and thickness, about like a quarter sized amount and you just kind of rub it through your hands and then this is on damp hair obviously you just like scrunch it now for second day hair all you have to do is just take some water and scrunch the ends and it'll reactivate this stuff so I absolutely love this stuff and I will definitely be repurchasing it when I run out it gives my hair like a nice texture to it but it's not too crunchy but it's kind of like I know this is going to sound weird because people hate crunch when it comes to curly hair, but it's enough crunch to where it holds a curl. Because my hair is naturally wavy, not naturally curly curly. So it's enough to where it's got that bounce, but not so much to where it looks like I never blue dry my hair and it's wet all day, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to try to speed this up because it's taking forever. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, we just have makeup stuff left. So I have two L'Oreal products to talk about. I've been wearing these every single day for the past month. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation and the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Makeup Extender Setting Spray. I use these in conjunction. I've used this with other foundations and it works just as well. So I'm not going to talk about this too much because I want to do a whole video on it, but um, it's Demi Matte, Demi Matte Finish. It is nice buildable coverage. You can do like very low coverage or build it up. Um, and I just really like it. It wears throughout the day well. It doesn't, you know, break up part weird on my nose or anything. Really, really like this stuff. I'm in the shade 102, by the way. If you're more interested about it, check out that video that's coming soon. So the other L'Oreal product is the Makeup Center Spray. This is amazing, y'all. I think it's $15, but this stuff is amazing. The, what is it? I know the Makeup Forever one's like 30 bucks. The Urban K one's like 30 bucks. Now everybody has a setting spray. But this is half the price. I think you get about the same amount. I'm not, don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. But it works just as well. And the sprayer on this thing is awesome. I'm going to try to spray it and see if you can see. I don't know if you saw that. But it's like so fine. 
It's not like you get hit in the face with giant beads of water. So, so fine. Love it, love it, love it. This, I was going through my collection and I found, probably not a good sign for how much makeup I have, that I forgot I had this full powder, but this is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. Hold on, hold on. Here on my face. Okay. So, it is obviously clear, translucent is the proper word to use, but the reason I really like this, a lot of powders do have things like this these days, but not all. So, it has, when, when you open it up, I'll insert a close up so you can see a little bit better, but this little guy dips down to where on top of this mesh it is completely flush. So if you were to travel with this, <coughs> just got some of my lungs. Okay. So if you were to travel with this, you wouldn't get to your destination and have loose powder everywhere. Literally, you open it up and it's just perfect underneath the sifter. And because of the sifter, it's also really nice. You don't have to dip it over, bounce it, you know, like knock it out. You just stick your brush in it, press down on the sifter, and it pops up like the perfect amount. This stuff is amazing. It's really, really lightweight, so I really like it for summer because it doesn't feel too heavy, and I feel like it helps extend the wear of my makeup, don't get flashback. I think it looks very, very natural as well. Really, really like this stuff. Two products left. I have been wearing Bite lipsticks all month. So this is just a random Bite lipstick that I pulled out of my collection, but literally they're just, my lips have been craving some sort of moisture and the Bite lipsticks are so moisturizing they feel really comfortable on my lips. So I haven't wanted to really use like line my lips totally or anything or definitely not a liquid lipstick because they've just been craving moisture. I don't really know why but definitely love these things. I can't say enough about how much I love Bite lipsticks. They're so creamy, so moisturizing. You don't feel like they're drying out your lips. They're made of food grade ingredients. They are pretty awesome. The only downfall is you do have to line the outside of your lips because if you don't, they will wander. Okay, last product. This thing is $3, I believe, maybe four, like under five, for sure. This is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. So I'm gonna try to open this up and not let the brush fall. It's, it's gross, so please forgive me, but this is well loved. But you have your wax and your powder. I like to use both. Um, I go in with the wax first and just kind of get the edges of my brows, kind of like get an outline to keep them contained. And then I'll go through a little bit just to keep them in place because my brow hairs are wild and crazy. They like to do whatever they want. They don't like to be tamed. Um, like Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 That was a bad joke. Bad joke. Okay. Anyway, then if I feel like I need some more filling in, I'll go back with this powder and just do it like in the brow hair so that you can't see through to the skin where it's a little bit harsh. But yeah, for three dollars, I mean I've had this thing for a while and I've hit pan on the wax but I have not hit pan on the shadow, or not the shadow, but the powder. But I mean for three dollars, you cannot beat that, cannot beat that. And this little brush is really good. I honestly don't know what you would ever do with this side of the brush because it's like an eye shadow brush, but this pointed tip is really, really good. So you could totally throw this in your purse. Good to go. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I really, really appreciate it. Please let me know what your May favorites were. I will read them down below in the comments. And if you'd like to subscribe, just click that button. I think it's gonna be right there. And I will see you guys next time. Love you guys, bye.